let me show you how you can easily create your own dodge and action in photoshop from scratch let's get started so once you're in photoshop the first thing you're going to do click on this action bar right here if you can find your actions right here just come to your windows and click on action right here your action is going to show like this so once your action shows like this, the next thing i'm going to do is click on this hamburger icon right here so once you click on it just click on this bottom wood you are going to get something like this so next thing i'm going to do if you don't already have a folder you can create a new folder or a new set rather so just click on this place right here this folder icon right here so click on it i'm going to show you sets for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to rename this one test and click ok and after that click on this plus icon right here so once you click on it it's going to show you action name so any action you want to create you can choose to rename it the way you can remember so i'm going to rename this one d and b and you can choose to add color if you want i'm going to add orange color and you can choose to add a shortcut key if you want but i'm not going to add a shortcut key i'm just going to leave it on none like that but you can choose to add a shortcut key if you want so after that i'm just going to click on record right now after i click on record everything i do in photoshop right now is going to record as an action and i can play it later if i want to use it so to create your dodgeable action first you have to do is come to your adjustment layer if you can't find your adjustment layer up here just come to your adjustment layer below and just click on curves adjustment layer and you know dodge and burn dodge is to brighten white burn is to darken so right now i want to create the dodge layer so i'm going to bring this place up to this place like this i think right here works for me i don't take it to the extreme like this i think right here works for me like this now after that i'm going to invert this layer by pressing on ctrl or command i if you are using the mark so after i invert that layer i'm going to come back to my adjustment layer again i click on curves again and this time i want to create my bond layer so i'm going to bring this part right here down to darken it because dodge is to brighten white bone is to darken now i think i'm going to leave it right here i think right here works for me and after that i'm going to invert this layer again by pressing ctrl i or command i if i use the mark to invert that layer and the reason why i'm inverting the layer is to hide the effect it's because i want that effect to be in a particular place which i will later apply it to i don't want it to be all over the place that's why i invert the layer to hide that effect so after that next i'm going to do i'm just going to rename this down one dodge and rename this top layer bond which is the bond i'm just going to rename this one bond like that so after renaming your layer dodge and bond and it's very important for you to rename your layer so you can know which one is dodge and which one to burn in case you want to use it in the future so after i name it i'm just going to put this bomb below the dodge like that so i have my dodge at the top and i have my bomb below now this i'm going to do i'm going to create a group for this layers which i just created so to create a group with your dodge selected hold ctrl and just click on burn and it's going to select both layers and just click on ctrl g and it's going to group or let me just undo that once the both layers are selected just click and drag it to this folder icon right here and it's going to create a group and just rename this group dodge and bond so click on it twice and just rename it dodge and bond or rename it anyhow you want anyhow you can understand it and click on enter now next i'm going to do i'm just going to add the white layer mask like this so after adding a white layer mask i have my dodge i have my bone and I group them. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pick my brush tool. Once I pick my brush tool, I'll make sure my focal color is set to white. The reason why I set it to white right here is so that once I play the action, I won't have to come back and change it to white if it's on black. It will automatically change to white for me once I play the action. Because the layer mask is black and we are going to be using a white brush to paint. So that's why I made it white. So after you finish creating your Dodge Bone action, just come to this place right here and click on this top icon right here just click on it to stop and it's going to stop and click on this hamburger icon right here and click on this button with again and right now you can see the action we've just created this d and b is the action we just created so i'm just going to delete this and play the action and it's just going to load the dodger bone action for me so once i click on it and play it it's going to load the dodger bone action for me so this is the dodger bone action we just created right here 
you can see we have our bomb we have our dodge and this is the group we created and also you can see our boss is set to white brush so to use your dodge and bomb i'm just going to zoom in pick your dodge and there are different ways which you can use to do your control dodge and bomb but i'm just going to show you the way i do mine make sure your focal color is set to white just reduce your brush size opacity 100 flow 100 and just draw a line right here like this for the highlights do the same thing right here do the same thing right here same thing right here and the same thing on the forehead like this and for the shadows which is the bone i'm just going to do something like this for the shadows do something like this as well do something like this for the shadows like that like this okay now after what i'm going to do i'm going to come to this my feather and just move this feather up a little bit like this let's leave it in 67 and for the dodge i'll move it up yeah like this then move it up let's see 40 okay 37 now let me show you the before and after this is the before and this is the after the before and the after so that's how you can easily create a dodge a bond action from scratch in photoshop and if you want to learn and understand how to use this retouching the academy dodge a bond make sure to click on this video and show you right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative